Um, we have a number of people who are, it's an international conference. So we have a number, number of people all across the world in different time zones, and we can't quite capture everyone uh, in one meeting. So we record the session and anyone who has a question, uh, it'll be uploaded um, in the event schedule after this session. Uh, so they can go ahead and do that in the discussion board. Let's just wait one more minute. Another thing I'll do is I will turn on the captions for anyone who needs those. I believe that they're on. Just one minute. All right, well, I think we can probably go ahead and get started. Um, as I said before, my name's Tamsin Gilbert um, and I'm Research Network producer with Common Ground Research Networks. Um, this is the online welcome and training session uh, for the 17th International Conference on E-Learning and Innovative Pedagogies, as well as the 20th International Conference on Technology, Knowledge and Society. Um, funnily enough, uh, they have the same special focus this year. So if you're there in person, uh, you can pop in and out of different sessions uh, related to both conferences and related to the special focus, which is people, education and technology for a sustainable future. Um, what we're going to do today in this meeting is I'll talk a little bit about the conference just for a minute or two, and then I might ask you, we might just go around the little tiles and introduce yourselves. Um, during that time, what I'll try and do is uh, put your link to your presentation page in the chat so our colleagues in the in the meeting can or watching the recording can follow along um, online. Um, and then after that, once we've done that, I'm going to share my screen and go through the sessions, um, probably giving an example from one of the two conferences of how to engage as an online only delegate in the conference or as an in-person delegate um, as well, um, how to upload digital media, um, how to view digital media and comment in the discussion boards. Uh, and then maybe if anyone has any questions or I've spoken too quickly, which is what I tend to do, uh, you can sort of raise your hand and ask me those questions after that. Um, I've put the link for the two conference microsites in the chat. Uh, you can go ahead and click on those. Whenever you're accessing those, please make sure that you're logged in. Um, you're, you'll have to log in in the top right. If you are logged in, your name will appear. Um, and so, you, so you'll know that you are, uh, everything's okay there. Um, so we have a great turnout for these conferences. Um, for the 17th International Conference on E-Learning e -learning and Innovative Pedagogies, we have about 115 people in person um, and another 40 online. And for the Technology, Knowledge and Society Conference, we have about 50 people in person and another 40 online. Um, between the two of them, we have about 160 pieces of digital media uploaded. Um, we also have a number of Spanish language delegates. Oh, sorry, I just let people into the room here. Um, we also have a number of Spanish language delegates. Um, and uh, sorry, I will let people. And so if you um, if you are speak Spanish and English, you're welcome to attend both those uh, both those sessions. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go, tile to tile and just uh, say your name and you're going to correct me if I mispronounce it. Um, and maybe if you can, um, please unmute yourself. Uh, just say which conference you're a part of, um, your, the title of your presentation. Um, and if, and uh, if you're presenting in person or online, tell us a bit more about yourself um, and what brings you here. Um, and what I will try and do as we go around is uh, find your presentation link and put that in the chat. So, um, Wendy, because you're my first uh, little rectangle there, I'm going to ask you to go first, if that's okay. Hello and hello, Tamsin. I'm from 
Australia. Tamsin, I didn't put a presentation in this time. I okay. am a scholar. I'm just really interested in this area. That's why it's three o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting oh here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So which are you are you in the e-learning or the technology conference? Uh the e-learning and innovative technologies. And you're one of our emerging scholars? Yes. And okay, great. It connects with my work. I'm a virtual learning coordinator for a system in New South Wales. So fantastic. Um, yeah. And so um, you uh you are probably assigned to sessions in those online only time. I am. You can go in. The the discussion boards are now open, so you can go in and start viewing it um, now. I think. Um, don't do it now, actually. Maybe in a few hours when you have a bit of a sleep and then uh, <laughs> get back up again. Um, but uh, the discussion boards are now open. So thanks for introducing yourself, Wendy. No worries. Sakina. Okay, my name is Sakina Ismail, and I recognize Wendy from. Uh, being a UIUC EDD student. Um, I am here for the technology. Uh, unfortunately, I thought I could come to Valencia and I'm in, located in Bahrain, but I could not make it physically there. And I'm very sad about that because I came to Valencia once before for the Learner Conference and I really liked it. Um, my uh, presentation is on the Antikythera mechanism. <laughs> And it's called the Antikythera Mechanism, the past as the present and the future, connections of ancient Greek computing and AI today. So it was the history focus. Perfect. And so what I've done is I've just put the link to your presentation page in the chat so people can go ahead and click on that. Um, you, everyone who clicks there, you can see that there's a blue follow button. So you can go ahead and follow these presentations. And I can already see that your presentation has 20 nine engagements which means that there's oh. been a, a bit of uh, movement there already this morning well this morning oh, that's nice. um so uh keep an eye out uh for any comments in the discussion board you will get an email if someone uh, asks you a question there um okay. the thank next you person, the next person i have is miguel miguel are you able to unmute hello hi miguel um my name is miguel i'm from mexico I'm in oh. National Autonomous uh, University of Mexico, and uh, my presentation is about smart cities in Latin America. It's a comparative, um, and that's it. Right, and and I'm I'm assuming you're not in Valencia, and you'll be attending online. What? You're an online only delegate. Yeah, I'm online. And are you participating as a Span Spanish language delegate or English? No, in Spanish. That's correct. Okay. So I need to find your presentation in Spanish. You're going to have to give me some time to put that link in the chat. I'll do that in Thank just you. one moment. Thanks for yeah. joining us today. Thanks to you. Um, Joseph, are you able to unmute and say hello? Hi, can you hear me? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, so my name is Joe Fees, and um, I am in Valencia. I hope I'm supposed to be here in this meeting. <laughs> yes, everyone's supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, great, great. So um, I teach at Delaware State University in Delaware, um, which is a very, very small state in the U.S. Um, and uh, my um, presentation is on um, engaged uh, online language learning and language courses. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work with that, and I'm really excited to learn more about technology while I'm here, um, because I think that as we go forward, online teaching is really what we're going to see more and more. Um, but that's it. Thank you. Fantastic. Nice to meet you, Joseph. I've just put the link for your presentation page in the chat so people can follow along. Thanks. Uh, so, and I'm sure you're going to, it's probably beautiful weather in Valencia. You're probably going to eat lots of delicious food, so I'm a bit jealous. Um, Cecilia, are you able to uh, unmute and say hello? Cecilia, are you there? Well, we might just skip over Cecilia. Maybe she's listening along and can't unmute. Uh, is it Jing Kwan? Are you able to say hello? Hello. 
I'm sorry, we can't. Go I, on. You can, uh, oh. I'm going to put a penny in the technology conference. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I. It's it's sort of coming in and out a little bit. I've just put the presentation your presentation page link in the chat. I think we might be having some connection issues. Uh, okay. Um, just can you hear? Yes, hear I, it's sort of the sound is coming in and out. Maybe maybe turn your turn your screen off so that we can just listen to you instead. Yes, that, I think that better? is a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm here to attend the technology conference. Uh, I'm gonna do a presentation. Probably already put my presentation there. Uh, uh, it's about equal pay, whether uh, female IT workers get the same amount of uh, uh, pay for equal work. Um, I look for, this is my first time in Venetia, so. Okay, thank you. I put uh, to I, me, so, everybody. Sorry, and, I think the, uh, the, I don't think also, the connection's quite working. So we, Joseph, we're only able to hear part uh, of what you're Delaware saying. State. I'm from Salisbury University. Okay, sorry about that. I think we might have to move on. Uh, Benedictus, are you able to un un uh, mute and say hi? Yes. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I'm Benedictus Gelunas. I'm from the Totas Magnus University in Konas, Lithuania. I'm participating in the technology conference, only doing it online this time. Uh, I have to admit that I only discovered the conference two weeks ago uh, as I was waiting for my thesis defense and looking for conferences to disseminate the results. Uh, I applied on the last minute, so it's only a very detailed uh, poster presentation from me, and it's on the social conditions surrounding gaming addiction and how we can view uh, gaming addiction as a type of digitalized social isolation, how technology and health intersect in social ways. Uh, I have the link, which I I've just put I've just put your link in the chat. Oh, you you're organized. Oh, and you've sorry. Also, Thanks. You've, yeah. You're organized and you've also done it. So I can see that you've uploaded your digital media so everyone's able to see your poster. Um, so you can go ahead and do that and comment in the chat. So thanks for introducing yourself. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Daria, are you able? Hi. Hi, everyone. So my name is Daria Mitz and I teach uh, at the American University in Cairo. And I'm here for the conference on e-learning and innovative pedagogies. And uh, my presentation is about universal design for learning principles and guidelines um, towards the design of a smart learning environment um, in uh, um, a, a humanities course. So it's a case study. Fantastic. Uh, so I've just put that uh, link in the chat so everyone will be able to follow along as well. Thank you. Thank um, you. My next uh, a little rectangle is Robert. Robert, I know you've just joined. Um, if you would, wouldn't mind, what we're doing is we're just going around the little tiles here and introducing ourselves and talking about our presentation. And I'm going to put the link for your presentation in the chat. Okay, thank you. C can you hear me? Yes. C can you can. Okay, great. Yeah, I apologize for being late. Um, the system here in Oxford, I've, I've just flown from America to Oxford, um, uh, intending to come to Valencia, but um, family issues couldn't break it. And the system crashed this morning. Oh, so no. We've just been, so I apologize. <laughs> um, sorry, what did you want me to do? Just introduce yourself and talk a little bit about what you're presenting at the conference. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, Bob Greenstreet. I am the Professor and Dean Emeritus of Architecture and Urban Planning at the University of Wisconsin. Um, my interest in research has uh, always been on the interface between the disciplines of law and architecture uh, and the impact that the latter has on the former. 
particularly in the built environment. Uh, my current focus is on the area of copyright law and how copyright law, which is this kind of invisible web of requirement and restriction, um, can actually affect originality in architecture. And this particular paper um, is focused on how copyright law can affect public art. Public art by its nature is defined to be as open as public and as inclusive as possible, where copyright law uh, is a complete antithesis of that by protecting the rights uh, of ownership of the original artist. And uh, we've done an international, um, uh, Dr. Karen Greenstreet and I've done a, a study of um, copyright issues with regard to uh, public art uh, across a number of countries, about 20 countries, uh, and the paper evaluates some of the, uh, le the, the lessons from that uh, and the differences between civil systems and, um, and, and primarily the American English systems. Um, uh, and, and puts forward certain principles of how public art can maintain its importance um, to reach as many people as possible without transgressing uh, the rights of the original artist. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks, Bob. That sounds super interesting. Uh, so I'm sure people, I put the link to your presentation page in the chat there so that everyone can follow along. Um, we've just had two more people uh join us and I'm not sure if they um, know what we're doing here. So I might just say, uh, Nadira and Joy or your year, would you mind um, just unmuting um, Nadira first, if you're able, um, and just tell us a little bit about yourself and about your presentation, if you don't mind, or if possible. Maybe it's not possible. <laughs> Uh, Yoya, are you able to? Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, this no, is no, Nadira. No. Oh, hi, Nadira. I'm... Thanks. Um, I, hi. If you just wouldn't mind saying a quick hello, tell us a little bit about your presentation. Um, I've just oh. put the link for it in the chat there. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I just joined now, so I'm. I wasn't sure what happened before. No Excuse worries. Excuse me. My camera is not working either. That's but, okay. Um, uh, right. Uh, it's uh, our, my presentation. Actually, is a collaboration with with a colleague from Florida. I'm from the UAE, from the American University in Dubai, and we have been running uh, what we call a coil uh, uh, learning experience for our students, which is a collaborative online international learning, where we actually connect the two classes together. We're both in higher education. My students are a master's degree students. Hers are undergraduates. But I teach a class about uh, inclusion and uh, uh, and understanding disabilities and inclusive education, while she does something with artistic expression. So the way we put the classes together is we look at how can we support our teachers to become advocates for inclusion. So they do a, a, a project together where they um, my students learn about disabilities and understand. Uh, you know the experience of uh, of having a disability and what can they do as teachers in their classrooms, and then they they work with global teams and they create what we call artistic expressions of disability. So they try to create like media outlets to understand to uh, advocate for understanding and and supporting disability. Um, and so our paper, our presentation and paper is about um, is about this experience. Uh, we spoke, we had a lot of focus groups with the teachers, and we we tried to understand their experience of working with people from across the globe with a very different understanding and and with and different laws and different uh, a, a different experience completely of disability. And yet, uh, how they can actually, through these global teams, uh, create a, a common understanding, create a common grounds to stand on, and then how this experience has actually changed their beliefs and their understanding of disability. So that's, in a nutshell, what we have been doing. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Uh, and your link to your presentations in the chat as well. Um, your year, are you able to unmute yourself and say a little bit of a hello? Oh, 
I can he I can see you've unmuted yourself, but we can't hear you. Sorry, Oya, we can't hear you if you're talking. I've put the link for your presentation in the chat. Um, maybe we'll we'll move on to David and uh, and come back to you if we can. David, are you able to just unmute yourself and uh, say a few words of hello and tell us a little bit about your presentation at the conference? Maybe David can't hear us or unable to mute there. And we have one other person who's just joined the meeting called, uh, I believe this might be your family name, which is Alvaro Lopez. Are you able to say a few words of hello? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll just, for those people who just came in uh, a little bit late, um, what, this is the online welcome and training session uh, for both the 17th International Conference on E-Learning and Innovative Pedagogies, as well as uh, the technology, the 20th, hard to believe it's the 20th, International Conference on Technology, uh, Knowledge and Society, um, both happening in Valencia in Spain this week. Um, between the two conferences, we have almost 200 uh, delegates uh, participating in person as well as almost 80 participating um, online only as and about 170 pieces of digital media uploaded. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen um, and perhaps someone can give me a bit of a, a thumbs up. Uh, I will, um, sorry, every time we've been in COVID for two years now and every time I forget how to share my screen. Um, oh, four years now, geez, it's not 2022, is it? Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the e-learning uh, site as my example. Um, everything's the same for technology. It'll just be uh, the by the links that I put in the chat earlier, which I'll repost. Um, how how you will uh, connect and engage in the same way. Um, so I'm going to just minimize you and I hope that someone uh, can see my screen. Thumbs up. Yes. Yes, we can see it. Okay, perfect. Um, so there's many ways to get to the conference microsite. Um, one of them is to just go to the uh, website and click this link here that says Scholar Event Microsite. If you happen to go to CG Scholar, dot com like this. Um, if you're not logged in, you'll be prompt to log in in the top right hand corner of the page. I'm already logged in, um, in which case I will be automatically sent to this microsite about page. The about page includes uh, sort of literally uh, information about the conference, but it also has this button here that you can click uh, to open the e-program and user guide. Everything that I'm saying today um, is being recorded and we'll upload it as a video to the event schedule, but it's also here as a PDF. Um, it includes information about the conference, a welcome letter, um, information about the plenary speakers, the scope and concerns, and our fantastic emerging scholars. Um, but it also at the end has uh, the information about how to engage in the conference through the microsite. So there's sort of a user guide here. So anything that I've said too quickly or you can't hear properly or uh, things like that, feel free to download that PDF through the About page. We also just have other sort of quick links here back to the conference website, information about the journals as well as the annual theme and the special focus. Um, if you have a proposal for the conference, uh, this will be your presentation page. It won't say submit a proposal. It'll say your present presentation. This is the page that I have been linking to in the chat when people have been uh, uh, introducing themselves. Uh, this is the page where you would upload your digital media. Um, please keep in mind that if you've just uploaded your digital media, we do have a review process for this. So give us a, we're trying to, we're trying to review as quickly as possible. Um, you will receive an email when it's been uploaded and you will also receive an email uh, when it has been accepted. Um, we just have to be able to, you know, check everything before it goes online, uh, just to make sure you didn't upload a water bill or something like that. 
um, <laughs> by accident. Um, so this will be your presentation page. Included on that page will be information like the title, the abstract keywords, um, and a little bio for you. Um, but then right at the bottom is where you upload your digital media. Your registration is the information about your registration for the conference. So mine's sort of a registration here, audience pass online only. Uh, yours might be an Emerging Scholar registration, but this is where you can download uh, your receipt and information there. I'm going to skip this presentations pad page for just one minute while I quickly uh, go to the special events. Special events tab is where you'll sign up for things like the session that we're in now. So you can go ahead and click one, uh, select that there, um, and uh, go through that. If you wanted to sign up for, say, you're in person and you were there for the conference dinner or something like that, that's where you would do it. Okay, presentations. Now, your presentations tab is going to look a little bit different from my presentations tab. I think I mentioned early on um, when we were going through everyone just then that there's a blue button on every single person's presentation page that says follow. When you click follow, this following tab here will be your fast way to get back to all those presentations that you're following. Um, I might follow five presentations that are the di a di another different five presentations to the one that you're interested in. I might only follow presentations related to the special focus where you might look at ones related to one of the other um, themes of the conference. Um, so this following tab, when you click on presentations is sort of your quick way to get back to the presentations that you're interested in, to re to look at the digital media again, to take a second look at the discussion boards, to ask another question. Um, so that is unique to your profile and unique to you, what you decide to follow. Our featured presentations. Oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong with this featured presentations. There should be some featured presentations there. I'll just make a note, uh, sorry. Uh, the featured presentations should be our Emerging Scholar uh, presentations. Um, so maybe I need to turn them on. Um, once I do turn them on, <laughs> our Emerging Scholars are a great uh, resource for the conference. They've applied for the Emerging Scholar Award. Some are not presenting like Wendy, but uh, we do have some who are presenting and they will be here featured uh, sessions at the conference. Um, so you can go ahead and click and follow those presentations as well. By theme. Say, for example, you're only interested in presentations related to the special focus. Uh, um, so you can scroll down. Uh, we won't look at that, that, the special focus. So then I can see them all uh, listed here. This is the title. Each one of these uh, names is a hyperlink to a profile page. Um, I highly encourage you, uh, strongly encourage you uh, to update your profile page. Um, as it's hyperlinked on when it appears on the uh, microsite. So if someone goes ahead and clicks on you, like Holly, who I'm using as an example here, um, there's information there about um, Holly. And I can actually add her as a peer um, and connect that way and send her a message there if I'm interested in her work. Um, I can see that this using, uh, let's, I'll use this presentation as an example, uh, that using an early childhood ed learning community in an effort to retain online students is going to be in room S15, first floor um, on the 8th at 3.25 in the afternoon. If I go ahead and click on that there, it will take me to the section of the event schedule. So I can see that this is the presentation. It's in the innovation showcases. And these are the other presentations that are scheduled alongside uh, that one as well. If I go ahead and click on the title of that presentation, it will take me to that person's presentation page and I can go ahead and follow that. I can also scroll down and see that this, this uh, PowerPoint presentation has been uploaded as digital media. If I click on that title, that downloads onto my desktop there. Um, if I want to go ahead and ask a question, I can join the discussion board from that from that way. I'll show you shortly how to join the discussion board um, in uh, in the event schedule itself. Um, so just using um, the profile as well, if you wanted to update your profile, you can go ahead and click on this community tab or uh, you can go to the top right hand corner where it says your name and go down to your profile and update it there. I'll close that tab. Um, from there, let's move over to the event schedule and see what we've got planned. Um, 
So firstly, what I'm going to do, sorry, is also upload the technology one. So here we are, March the 6th. I can't believe it's March. I feel like we only just entered 2024. Um, and we are in the online welcome and reception. Um, you've managed to find your way here, which means that you, I, I hope that you figured out that the title of these uh, sessions here is how you get to the description and where you can find the Zoom meeting for that. Um, this is also where the recording of this session will be uploaded afterwards should you have any questions in the discussion board that, I don't know, say we end the session and you realise that you've forgotten something, you can ask me there in the discussion board. Um, for the technology, uh, for the e-learning and innovative pedagogies conference, there is an online only uh, workshop right after this in about 28 minutes. Um, to join that, you can go ahead and click on the title of the presentation and see the Zoom link right there. There's a, there's a description there um, and the workshop will be uploaded as digital media um, following the session as well if you're not able to join. Um, oh, sorry, go over here to the Technology, Knowledge and Society Conference because we have some workshops for that as well. And I want to make sure that everyone uh, sees those. So here we are. Um, we have two featured workshops. We're now, so those have already, <laughs> already happened, but we do have the online welcome reception, which is now, and then followed by the featured workshop uh, with John Wilson uh, following in 28 minutes from now. <laughs> Um, so just like I said before, any one of these presentation titles you can click on uh, to access the Zoom link. Uh, let's go to tomorrow. So we'll start tomorrow. Uh, this is for the in-person delegates. Uh, there'll be a conference registration and welcome coffee. Um, for the online only delegates, you might need a coffee if you're up at 3 a.m., uh, or something like that, so, or maybe you don't want a coffee, maybe something a little stronger um, up at 3 a.m. for the online welcome and opening. Uh, the, all these sessions will be recorded and uploaded to the, as digital media. So they will be here. If you have any questions about the opening or, the, or about the plenary session that follows, you can click on the title of that presentation, learn more about the plenary speaker, and then watch the video of the um session right there. We then move into the talking circles. For our in-person delegates, the talking circles are a great informal session, actually kind of like this, where people introduce themselves, talk about their presentations and their interests based around the themes of the conference. For our online-only delegates, we do have an, an online-only talking circle on Friday, um, and that, that's a great place to come and discuss the ideas of the conference um, after viewing the digital media, because we're coming to it with the ideas and uh, the things that we've viewed over the last uh, couple of days. Um, I can see here that uh, we then we move into sessions. So you can see that the panel, this panel is called, uh, let's just use pedagogical pathways. It's called pedagogical pathways and there's three presentations in that session. Each is 20 minutes. Um, we do ask our on our in-person uh, presenters to also upload digital media. Anytime you see this sort of view digital media button, you can go ahead and click on that there. And I can see Joseph has done the right thing and uh, uploaded his digital media there. Um, so it means that our online only delegates are able to engage with your presentation um, as we when they're not there in Valencia in person. One important thing to note is that the discussion board is for the panel. So this discussion board here is for pedagogical pathways. It is not, uh, it's not just one for Joseph or one for Catherine. Um, we themed these presentations together for a reason. Um, and we like to look at the connections or maybe not the sort of contradictions in the presentations, how they might link to each other. Um, and so the, the um, emerging scholars will be in the rooms, uh, their sort of, sort of prompt questions. Um, you'll see, I'll just quickly go to day two. Um, we have the sort of similar sessions. This is our online. What I really want to highlight now is this online only tab. So you can see like in the in-person presentations, these online only presentations are themed. Uh, Breaking Barriers has four presentations scheduled in there. And where it's fantastic because we can see that all four of the presenters have uploaded their digital media. So say, for example, I want to look at your years. I can go ahead and click on the PDF as well as a video 
um, which uh, she has uploaded there. Um, following that, if I have a question, I can go ahead and click and join the discussion board. One thing to note, uh, if you write in a discussion board, you write a question in a discussion board, please refer to that person's name or the presentation type title. Uh, if you're making a connection between two presentations, go ahead and say those people's name as well so they know which ones you're uh, talking about. Another thing is if they respond to you, uh, you will receive an email. You don't have to sort of sit in the discussion board uh, worried and wondering when someone's going to respond. Um, an email will be, it, someone's response will be prompt, will prompt an email to you and you'll say that it will provide a link back to that discussion board. Um, you can see already that this, um, this panel has 38 engagements and all the digital media has been uploaded. So you can go ahead now, the discussion boards are open. Um, and view that digital media um, throughout the days of the conference. Actually, the, the digital media is for everyone who is registered is, is available sort of indefinitely. You're able to go back, you know, in six months from now, you might say, I saw this great presentation. Um, I watched a video uh, that was part of the e-learning and innovative pedagogies conference. You can go back and find that. And if you followed it, it'll, it'll still be there in your uh, followed uh, tab. Um, I feel like maybe I've gone through this a little bit quickly. Um, what I'm going to do is stop sharing and then anyone who has a question, uh, feel free to sort of jump in, raise a hand, uh, ask a question. Um, one thing to note that maybe I didn't say at the start, just one second, Nadira, is that all online only presenters present asynchronously, meaning that they present uh, via digital media uploads. Um, so you you can oh one thing I've I've got to I'm gonna to have to tell you in just one minute Nadira do you want to unmute yourself to ask your question? Uh yes uh now as as you know I'm presenting a, a session my my colleague is actually uh, is uh attending the conference uh, yes. physically uh, while I'm gonna be online so okay. uh, I I cannot be a uh, I cannot be um, synchronously online, right, with her? Um, you can. Uh, this is a little complicated. <laughs> she would have to. Uh, she would have to connect her uh, laptop with the Zoom and connect it in the room. Um, I oh, would. No, I, I would tell her um, if you <laughs> want to do that to speak to Alba at the uh, registration desk tomorrow morning. Okay, but I don't want to complicate things. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, so it's we'll not work. so the the live the in person sessions. There's no sort of live streaming of those. Right. Um, yeah. if you wanted to connect, you could. Um, but we would sort of rely on uh, your colleague uh to set that up. I see. Thank you very don't much. Want to Sorry, stop you. <laughs> but uh... no much problem. <laughs> no problem. Well, I'll, I'll probably uh you know using the discussion boards probably to uh communicate. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank Nadira. you. Uh, you're, you're, there are there are proceedings. These proceedings that we publish, um, I'll put the link in the chat so you can see. It's not, um, so there's two ways to publish uh, as a result of uh, the conference. Uh, the first way is in the proceedings. So if you present um, and participate, register, participate in the conference, we do have a proceedings book that's, um, that is simply uh, titles, um, names, affiliations, abstracts. Um, I'll put an example of that. Um, sorry, I'm just going to grab the link uh, for both of those in the chat. If you want to have a paper published, uh, you can upload that uh, to be peer reviewed in the journal. Um, so this is the proceed, the link to the proceedings book. So you can see that as an example for e-learning. Um, if you're interested in publishing in the journal, um, for example, and I'll put the technology one in the chat in just a minute. Um, that will have to be uh, peer reviewed. Um, we have a double blind peer review system and go through that process, uh, typeset and everything like that. Um, so uh, I would just, sorry, I just want to grab those links, which I probably should have done earlier. So these are the technology ones um, I'm going to put in the chat. Um, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, Daria, when the recording of sessions will be available to online participants, as soon as the, the session is completed, we upload it straight away 
we just embed it straight into uh, the online only session. So as soon as I hang up from you now, I'm putting it straight on the uh, straight online for those people. Sometimes if there's like a, a internet delay or something, it might be delayed, but we try to get it up as soon as possible. So you shouldn't have to wait for that. Are there any other questions? What I'm going to do is just I'm going to, um, so there's a variety of different ways to contact us. You can write a question in the discussion board underneath this session if you like, but you can also email us at support at cgnetworks.org. Um, if for some reason your digital media is not appearing or if you can't view something, make sure you're logged in. Uh, this is the most common problem that we have is, is someone might not be logged in. Uh, so um, you can only see that if you are registered for the conference and logged in. Um, make sure to update your profile um, so that you can add peers and connect with people that way. And with that, I think we might say goodbye. I'll see you in the talking circle on Friday. Um, I'll see you in the discussion boards. Um, I'll see, so see you in the, uh, you know, online sessions. So uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And it was a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you, Tamsin. Bye. Go to bed, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.